So the next question is differentiate between PAL and PLA. Realize the following using PLA. Give PLA table and internal connection diagram for PLA. First one function F1 A comma B comma C comma D in terms is equal to 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Second function in terms 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15. Okay, so first solution we will first see what is the difference between PLA and PAL so PLA stands for programmable logic array and PAL stands for programmable array logic in PLA what you can use both your AND array and OR array and both are programmable whereas in the case of PAL AND and OR array are used but in which OR array is fixed and AND array is programmable PLA is costlier and complex whereas PAL is easier to program but not flexible like PLA it is simpler and widely used and it is cheaper okay these are the main difference between PLA and PAL now let us do the problem so first we have we are going to simplify using KMAP okay some of the product terms F1 A B C D okay 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 and here you have minimum 0 1 2 3 4 5 7 6 8 9 11 10 12 13 so what are the sum of product terms 1, 2, 4, 5. So wherever you have 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, uh, 12, 14, you will have the value as 1. So you can group these 4, 1 together, these 2, 1, these 2, 1 together, these 2, 1 together. These two. So you will be having 4 terms, right? So F1 is equal to, so if I take for example, if I take these 2, 1s and these 2, what will be your uh, value? It is equal to A. And here it is 0, 1 get cancelled A, D. Okay. So A, D bar, right? A, D bar will be the value. So A, D bar plus C, D bar, A bar, C bar, D plus A bar, B, C bar. So these are the sum of the product terms of your first function. Whereas your second function, what will be the value? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15 will have the value as 1. So these 4 can be group together these four ones can be grouped together okay and uh, you can again you have here three ones these two ones and these two ones can again be grouped together and these two ones so you'll be having one two three four terms here also four terms for example if i take this what will be the value c d bar c d bar just similar to that you can take all other terms so we have got the sum of product terms now ne the next step is to construct your PLA table. PLA table consists of the product terms, inputs and outputs. Okay. So what are the product terms you have? C, D bar, A, D bar, A bar, B, C bar, A bar, C bar, D. So in this case, you have C, D bar and A, D bar present in both the outputs. Right. A, D bar. Here also A, D bar. So here it is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you have 6 product terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Totally 6 product terms. Okay, so what are the inputs you have A, B, C, D, right? So in the case of C, D bar means C is equal to 1, D bar, it is complement. So D will have the value 0. A and B is not used. That's why it is taken as dash. Similarly, A, D bar, we can proceed for all other product terms. A will be equal to 1, D will be equal to 0, other two will is not used. A, C value will be equal to 1. The other two is not used. A bar, B, C bar, A, C will be equal to 0, B will be equal to 1, other is not used. A, C will be equal to 0, D will be equal to 1, B will be equal to 1, C, D will be equal to 0. What about your outputs F1 and F2? C, C, D bar and A, D bar is used both in your F1 and F2 as output, right? So you have both the values as 1, whereas your A, C is used only in your second output, right? A, C. So you have F2 is equal to 1. A bar, B, C bar. It is used only in first output. Similarly, you can proceed with other. So T is uh, uh, shown or T is given for active high output. Okay. So this is your construction of your table. What table? PLA table. Now you are going to give the diagram of PLA. So generally the diagram of PLA is given by means of input, output and your product terms so in terms of your array of AND gates and array of OR gate AND gates will constitute your product terms here you have how many product terms six product terms so you have p1 p2 p3 etc up till p6 okay 
and gates will be your product terms and your or gates array of or gates you have two outputs so this will signify your output output one and output two a b c d is going to be your inputs okay so here this gives your a and your a bar b b bar c c bar d d bar okay so here why am i using this um, cross is to signify that both your and and your or are programmable okay so this will be your array of and gate and this will be your array of or gate so c for first product term is equal to c d bar so you have c d bar similarly a d bar a d bar so you can connect all the and gates that is six product gates or product terms product terms will be connected together to give your output so what is your output f1 f1 is equal to a bar c bar d a bar c bar d plus a bar b bar sorry b c bar plus a d bar plus c d bar so this will give your output f1 similarly f2 will be equal to c d bar plus a d bar plus a c plus b c bar d bar so this is how you have to draw the pla diagram